Hello, everyone. Welcome to Elite Dangerous. Um, in VR, as you may have seen in the previous video, uh, I'm playing this now. I've been playing it in normal mode for a while, but I've started doing mining and I've tried it in VR, and it is just incredible. Incredible experience. Um, it, yeah, mining. Um, sh long story, short story. We are in the middle of a gold rush. They just added new exploration and mining mechanics, and the mining is insanely lucrative. It blows all of my maximum reputation uh, courier missions completely out of the water. You can mine for an hour and make 20 million credits, and it's fun and interesting. Unlike, um, whatchamacallit, <laughs> unlike the, the, the courier missions I've been doing, which are fine. They're boring. You know, you go here, you go back, you go there, you go back. Especially because I have to keep going back to Meech Dock in Smees to uh, get my high quality or high payout missions. But now, I go to Mott and I mine ice diamonds. And hopefully my voice doesn't sound too bad. This is the first recording in the new house. And the, there's not there's a lot of um, reflective surfaces around here, so I apologize for the echo in the voice and also the the headset is resting on my cheeks and my temple kind of uncomfortably. I've got kind of a big head, and uh, it makes. I mean, this headset is the only one that'll fit, and unfortunately, it makes speaking a little uncomfortable. But hopefully, we'll be able to have a good time. And you were seeing exactly what I'm seeing. Well, boy. Even more than usual. I hope I can keep things steady. Like, the interface looks very smooth to me. That's something you don't think about in VR, is your head motions. Like, when you move left or right, even these tiny little motions, um, it doesn't look like, you know, it looks real. It doesn't look like you're moving around a monitor. But the video recording looks not great. Looks like it's jittering all over the place. And hopefully my talking is not making it jitter a whole bunch. I don't know. If you see that up-down motion, that's me taking a drink of water. Uh, doing recordings takes a lot of... takes voice... Um, whatever. I need to drink to keep my throat hydrated and having a VR headset on also... Um, also causes me to be more thirsty than normal. Anyway, let's talk about mining. Oh my god. So mining actually has mechanics now. It's not like you just find an asteroid and push a button. You actually have to do stuff. And it's awesome. Well, I don't know. It was it was just okay. And then I started looking at the amount of money that I'm getting for this stuff. And my jaw dropped. So it's good game mechanics. Like it's solid actual gameplay. And now... It is super duper uh, rewarding. You just this is they're going to nerf this so hard because you can just make so much more money with even minimal ships. You really don't need that much equipment, and you'll see what I've got. Um, I got a bunch of limpets. I've got two guns, and I've got prospector and collector limpets, and then some I don't know what else uh, refinery, and that's about it. I got 128 units of storage. Okay, here we go. We are looking for ice diamond rings. And we're, it's going to be kind of boring. Like, this is more immersive to do. Oh, there we go. With the headset, but it's... There's a, you know, there's definitely some a lot of artificial... You're looking around for stuff. Okay. Low temperature diamond hotspot. Okay, so here we are approaching the rings. Hopefully this is the same one. Alexandrite is also valuable. I don't know. I guess I think this is where the where the cool kids go. I seem to like having an upper view. Like I look up a lot. So my apologies if I'm not really centering things the way I should be. Okay. Oops. I should switch to analysis mode. Here we go. <laughs> the rings are not actually on fire. This is just. I did a scan, and this is what we see in the scanned area. 
And let's go get some diamonds, hopefully. We better, because I hate to come back empty-handed. Yeah, look at that. I love... I love this view. Ugh. Okay, mining is cool again. Or cool for the first time, who knows. Okay. So let's start... Let's see, start with the new device, this pulse wave scanner. This effect looks really bad in VR. Looks really grainy. Oh. And I'm looking for very bright asteroids of a very particular shape. Uh, they need to look like popcorn kernels. And granted, everything here kind of does, but they shouldn't have significant ridges. They shouldn't be almond shaped. They should be very, very bright. And they probably won't have ice pockets on them. We'll see them more as we go through. Okay, this is my best chance. And they're sometimes... I want to say they're more at the top or bottom. See, this is actually a good, con a good sample. Am I going to start off with a winner? Probably not. Yep, the winner. Grandiodorite. Okay. Yeah, they're, usually the, they're sometimes at the top or the bottom of the, uh, the ring. Thing, which is not a lot. It's, you're basically just top, bottom, or middle. Okay, let's get everything lined up. I got seismic charges, and you want to be in the spin pattern. You want to be with the spin of the asteroid. I don't know how to phrase that. Anyway, let's launch some. Uh, this thing is too far away. Okay, gotta get closer. Okay. Wish I had a more nimble ship. <laughs> Boom, good shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's go down. Oh, there's one. And you want to fill these. You want to get that be that bar up into the blue area. Whoop. And you want to do that with ideally the minimum number of these charges, but whatever. Got a bunch of them. Uh, okay, I could use another average or another average one. Low strength. Uh, here we go. Yes, optimum yield range. Perfect. Wow. Can I make YouTube content or what? All right, so we're gonna back up. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Sorry about that. Had some sort of glitch. I usually run a very tight system, but. Things are not going super well. I mean, it's okay. It only happens like once every hour or something. I don't know. That's still not great. Uh, all right. Let's detonate. Make sure the shields are up and enjoy. Uh oh. Oh, come on. I'm right here. Okay. Am I glitching? Oop. <sighs> okay, well, not super happy. I want to blame this on the Windows 10 October update, but I don't know if it really is that. Or it's, I need new drivers. I mean, I got new drivers. I just rebuilt this thing. Okay. And then we, so that's how you eventually, whoops, uh, crack an ice asteroid. You gotta get high, medium, and low charges to the right, to the right levels. Um, you can disarm them if they, if you get too many. These are not ice diamonds, but look at the, the fog effects are just awesome. Okay, and while the limpets are, drink, are bringing in Every, the stuff that's cracked off the core. We are just going to chip off the surface deposits, which I realize now they for their surface deposits because they were on the inside of the asteroid. But you crack the asteroid open, and now the insides are visible to you. Yep, and now we have to spend the rest of the game or the rest of the mining expedition uh, looking at the flashing the, the thing. It's not doing it right now, thank goodness, but 
yeah, the system flashes red basically continuously for me. I assume it's proximity alarms, but sometimes it isn't. Okay, and I should be patient. Oh, this is the other problem. Mining is a little, bit, little boring. Not the same kind of boring as uh, the stuff that we always do, but still kind of boring. Um, not like going back and forth. You get to sit here in your chilled ship and be very patient because if you try and go somewhere, if you're like doing cool maneuvers, your limpet drones will blow themselves up uh, doing pathfinding to get to you. And I, yep, want to crack off these surface deposits, keep my little limpet drones ready, stay in a safe, stable spot. That's easy to get to. That's far away from these floating fragments. And, like, they actually break off these polygons and send these things spinning in weird directions. It's great. Uh, I need to be a little bit closer for that. But not too close. Oh, yeah. Or maybe it's just going to proximity warn me about my own limpets forever and ever. I would definitely deserve that. Are you really on this side of the asteroid? I don't really believe that you are. But thank goodness the abrasion blaster rounds are free. There we go, finally. How we doing? See, look at that. Grandiderite, 255,000. This and ice diamonds are basically 650k per, like once you sell them. And it counts towards your um, elite trading. Uh, status because you are technically trading commodities that you have mined. So I'm just going to very carefully inch forward here. Want to still keep a clean path for my limpets. Nope. Bullseye. Boom. Okay. Got another happy limpet coming toward me, I think. Or maybe not. Don't know where they are. All right. So here we are in the middle of what used to be a ice asteroid. <laughs> I suddenly got all environmentalists. Like, I mean, we are we are stripping these the system this this ice ring dry. Like this planetary ring. This is like destroying Saturn's rings for money. <laughs> and. Uh, I mean, whatever, I'm just one guy, and they're... Well, I play solo, so I don't... I do not want to get interdicted. Uh, usually what happens is when I come... When I come into the into the system for the first time, there's uh, NPCs around, and they're scanning me, and they're like, Oh, do you have anything? Ah, oh, don't waste my time. And they don't want to take... It's usually fine, because I've just got limpets. Nothing they want. I don't have any of these valuable asteroids or valuable minerals. I don't know what I'd do if they actually came at me. Like, for real, if I would... I mean, I would, if I would eject the stuff, because I can't fight. I don't have any... I don't have any guns on me. Okay. First asteroid. I was correct. Uh, it didn't have uh, any ice nodules. It didn't have ridges. It didn't have... Uh, it was just sort of like a, a plain-looking popcorn thing. It also wasn't smooth. I know smooth asteroids are not the ones you, we want to look for. It's not very exciting, like, in... I need to turn on head look mode um, when I'm playing normally, when I'm playing without the VR, because without the ability to look around, you're just you're just staring straight at the screen. Alright, you're doing nothing. Alright, let's go. Cargo, scoop, retracted. Let's figure out where the hell we are. I always lose my sense of orientation when I, whenever I do this. Whenever I crack an asteroid. Uh, we're definitely okay. We're above the orbital plane. Ah, all right. Let's go. Let's go towards the planet. How about that for a for a route? Oop. And you want to go slow. Seventy five percent is plenty. Uh, that one looks okay, but kind of too smooth. How we doing? So thirteen. Yeah, that is uh, like six million units already don't think this is the one I'm looking for. The shape isn't right. Yeah, and it's not knobbly enough. It's not ridgy enough. But I'm going to shoot a shoot a prospector drone into it to see what I get. Pr 
Probably nothing. Yep, okay. This isn't it. It wasn't knobbly enough. It is my, uh... Thank you. Is my prognosis, my analysis. Nope, that one's not good. That one looks too smooth. Yeah, the sense of scale is terrific. Just terrific. See here you can see the red flashing all the time. That one, uh, it's really high up. It's not knobbly enough, but I like it. Are you the one I'm looking for? And lipid drones. The prospectors die pretty quickly, but the other ones, my collectors will stay out for six minutes, I think. Nope, not knobbly enough. It's too smooth. Okay, moving on. I cannot follow my own rules. I'm totally wanting to, I'm constantly wanting to go to 100% speed. But, ooh, this one looks pretty good. It's got a little bit too many ridges that I'd like. That one's also good. Is that one a valid? Is that one an option? No? Really? Okay, well, we're gonna do, the, gonna do that anyway, because I don't trust it. Probably not gonna run out of limpet drones. See, it's got big ridges, very easy for it to hide the uh, impact things, the spots I need to hit. But it's not what I'm looking for. Come on, I swear one of you guys was the one I was looking for. Nope? Okay. Asteroid Moving on. And there's regular mining, and there is subsurface mining. Which I tried a little bit. It's actually a good idea to start with that. To just to see what the various mining types look like. Because there, there's fun mechanics for all of them. There's like a little, it kind of reminds me of Pac-Man, even though it's not very Pac-Man-y. Like subsurface, subsurface mining is probably the, the, my most fun one. Because it's you just aim and then you have to hold and release a button at the right time. Yeah, so I go, I feel like I'm in a parking lot. I'm looking left and right for uh, a spot. Uh, that one's pretty good, but it's not bright enough. Hmm. I feel really grateful that they let us do this pulse wave thing as much as we want with, like, no penalty. Um. It's kind of got too many ridges. I don't think it's the right one. But it's pretty bright. Hmm. Okay, fine. Let's do this one. Don't trust it, however. Very glad to have tons of limit drones. Prospector drones. Yeah, you're too smooth, right? Too smooth. Yep. Move it on. Heading towards the planet. Looking for some minerals. Okay, we're just gonna keep going. <laughs> and one thing I need to say out loud, because then maybe I won't do it, is to never ever boost. Oh, look at the shadow. I love the shadow of my ship. That is so great. If you boost, you're almost guaranteed to like need to turn around and find some asteroid. And you can't, because the boost has got control of your ship. But at least even at 100% speed, you can slow down I mean, you have control of your speed. Hmm. That one looks too small. And too smooth. See, this one right here, this would be perfect. But it doesn't have anything, I'm pretty sure. Nope. Okay, there's a big one. They're also not that big. They're not, like, gigantic, the ones I'm looking for. Uh, speaking of gigantic ones, nope. Big, big, big. It's really unfortunate that, as game players, we are so drawn to the most efficient route of everything, for everything. Because... 
you know, they made all this mining gameplay, and the only thing that I want to do, the only thing that makes sense, ooh, the only thing that is this as as profitable, uh, the shape is wrong, is deep core mining, and surface mining. Whoop! What am I doing? Going up. Uh, is that the one? Hmm. Mm. You've got ridges. Well, kind of. Which one are you again? That one. You're almond-shaped. Uh, there's a nice popcorn guy over there. I think I'll go check him out later. Is it? Is it really the shape? I like to think... Okay. I like to think I'm not crazy and that I know what the asteroid I'm looking for looks like. But I could be wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. Alright. <laughs> Alternate hypothesis. Uh, I've only been doing this for a day and I know what I'm doing. That might be what's actually going on. Hey, am I crazy or did an asteroid just disappear? Or is it that one? That one looks pretty good. Yeah, this is a little bit why I was afraid of uh, streaming or like recording this, because the <laughs> when you're not popping an asteroid, when you're not mining it, it's pretty boring. You are just tooling around, you're looking for stuff, you're enjoying the view, but the view doesn't change that much. It's got some scars on it. This could be a good one. Looks like that popcorn kernel, but is not. I have my doubts. Yeah, where else could I go? Uh, yeah, let's go this way. Another popcorn kernel. Similar. Is there a type of ridge I'm looking for? I feel like I'm looking for a type of ridge that's like... Uh, I don't know. It's, it's hard to describe. Like, how would you describe the ridges on these things? These are small. I'm looking for like a big one. I mean, this is going to hit a red asteroid, yep. Oh, it's not as bright as I thought. That's unfortunate. Yep. Now it's got some stuff, and this is a pristine ring that I'm at. Asteroid scan complete. But you do find them. I mean, eventually you find one that you think, oh, maybe this isn't it, but it actually... <laughs> it does turn out to be what you're looking for. Like this guy here, that is really... Oh, this looks good. See, this is what I'm talking about. Really big, thick... Nodules. I'm gonna say nodules. Ah, please prove me right. And it's got lots of abrasions on it. What do you say, Prospector Drone? Am I gonna be proven right again? Low temperature diamonds. This is it. Okay big chunks. It looks like a fist. It looks like a popcorn kernel. Uh, okay, let's get in line with the spin, the asteroid, which looks to be over here. Make sure we don't bump into anybody. Gotta get closer. It's nice that you can take your time before you actually start firing. Seismic charges. Asteroid fissure. Extract. Here we go. Okay. Nope. Nope. Mm. I want to hit this guy right here. High strength, by the way. That one looks good. Yes! Wow, I'm looking out. Okay, let's do this. I want to back up a little bit. I wish I could look behind me, like I need a nader bell going beep, beep, beep. Okay. See the planet out there? Isn't that cool? 
We're about below the ring. Okay. Um, still plenty of time. Shields up. Uh, let's deselect. Make sure we're not selecting anything because we're going to want collect collector limpets. Detonation in 10 seconds. Here we go. Hopefully this one will not be interrupted by my computer freaking out. Yes. Oh, the music kicks in. Yeah, I forgot it does that. Sorry about the 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 smoke effects. Ice. Ugh. It's gorgeous. Uh, can I get into a better position? I love my Python, but it has kind of a boring cockpit. What I, what I would call a not great cockpit, sadly. Yes. Okay. We are going to stay here out of the ice range as long as we can. Hit some of these guys. Hmm. Why can't I hit that spot? Oops. I mean, it's obscure behind something. Okay, that's fine. Nope, nope, nope. Just stop. Okay. Um, is there a safe place that I can go? Well, I'm kind of glad that there's nothing wrong with your ship being low temperature for a, a large amount of time. Because another good thing to do is to get basically in the middle of the ice cloud and, you know, shoot this stuff. But I have, I have lost a lot of limpets that way. Yeah, look at my ship icing over. It's too bad. I mean, I'm glad there's no damage. It'd be neat if there's something to do with this. Like, when you're iced over, you... Oops. You have some some special powers. You can, like, turn on the heater. <laughs> I wonder if your guy freezes to death. Okay, low temperature diamonds are coming in. Yeah, it seems like they are not as valuable as the other ones, but I think that's because everyone else is mining them, and so the galactic average is low, but they still sell for the same amount, and the other ones are equally viable. Um, okay. I'm going to need to be on the left side here. I'm seeing nothing on my contacts. There's something. See that yellow blip there? That's usually a small ship out in the distance. I mean, if it was, I would just bolt. I would just run away. Oops. Okay. Carefully. Not putting our limpets in any danger. Yes. Okay, there's another one. Maybe I need to figure out how to use the uh, external camera. Turn off the HUD and do this stuff. That would be extremely cool. <sighs> okay, it's rotating. It's going to come into view. Just, I just have to wait for it. And I need to be in a good position to get it when it rotates into view. And the bits have still got plenty of work to do. Who wants to be my co-pilot? Sit here and be not Chewbacca, necessarily. Another human. Okay, good, I got it. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> okay, so we are at 13 diamonds, 13 granadorite. Yep. I'd love to fill my hull, but... Yeah, that's <laughs> that would take forever. This is super fun, but the success rate is kind of low. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. <clears throat> Give these limpets less work to do. Uh, maybe there's not just that. There's... <laughs> you dummy. 
Go get that one. Your brother died. Why did he dash himself against the rock? Okay. Programming limpet drone. Come on. Can you seriously not execute a turn fast enough? Or maybe you can't slow down. Maybe that's the problem. There's also something here. Is this the uh, Prospector drone? Prospector Olympic? No, it's... Okay. Mm, it's close enough. Okay, you got one more thing to get. Uh, please be careful. You can just go around that asteroid. That'd be great. Should be simple pathfinding. Then you do a loop and come back. How about this? I'll go over there and help you out. There we go. Good boy. Blink up. I'm getting paged to my real thing. Uh oh. I need to come help. Uh, Alright, Christmas tree decorations have got to come down. And I am going to uh, go help with that. Wow. Oop, so great. Oop, let's get a little cargo scoop open. He's got one more thing for me. And then we'll call it a day. Here in the middle of this uh, this ice chunk. Very cool. See you next time for some more low temperature mining. <laughs>